Back on Good Morning Arkansas and back in the kitchen with Rachel Reginelli, Director of Marketing and Business Development at Birch Street Communities, and Kristen Calderhead, the Art Director, to talk about an upcoming art show. And boy, ladies, thank you for joining us. Absolutely. Appreciate it. Rachel and I are yes. old friends from, I love it. from, from <laughs> way back when, but I'm so happy to meet yeah. you. And you, listen, you got to be a great art teacher because oh, this stuff you. is phenomenal. They do some cool stuff, yes. All done by the members at, in Birch Street Communities. Um, uh, so, Rachel, let's talk about when the art show is because I want to put that seed in everybody's mind before we get started because yes. it'll be a great event. This is the 18th year for our art show. Um, it's been going on a long time. We're going to be at the Hall in Little Rock. It's going to be on Thursday, April 18th from 5.30 to 8. Uh, we'll have live music, food, a coffee bar, cash bar for cocktails so you can come yeah. by and grab something to eat and drink and check out all these beautiful pieces. Uh, they really are. It, it, it's an important fundraiser to you. Yes. For you as well. So people keep that in mind if you want to help what's going on at, at, at Birch Street Communities. It'd be a great way to do it. So tell me about the art classes that produce some of this stuff. Do they work on their own or do you have formal classes? So we have formal classes. And for the art show, we usually will do things that inspire them. Things that they love, their favorite things, maybe evoke memories. Um, so we work on these. Well, I'll either do a one-on-one -on -one session or I'll do a big group session. We do pottery, we do paintings, we do um, weaving, we do all kinds of things. It sounds like a lot of fun, mm -hmm. and, and, and I'm not kidding, they're really good at this. Oh, I want to show some of these pieces sure. up close. Where do you want to start? We'll follow you. <laughs> How, you well, want to start with the pottery? Absolutely. So we have got some thrown pottery. We glaze. We'll fire and glaze these. Mm -hmm. We've got some paintings. They yep. sometimes can be things that, you know, they could be somebody that they love or something that they love. Like we had a lady who loved old cars, classic cars, so she painted this one. This is a self-portrait. Um, we have got some favorite animals. Yep, We've got a swan back here. We have got favorite flowers. This one was a gentleman's mother's favorite yep. flower, a dogwood flower. Mm -hmm. So he painted those for his mom. So they can kind of pull inspiration from anywhere. Well, cle and clearly they do. Mm -hmm. So these are these are for sale at, at the art show, correct? Yes. So when somebody buys one of these, it must be really kind of cool for the yes. artist, right? Oh, I can't imagine. absolutely. They love knowing that somebody wants their art. It helps build confidence. They, uh, it helps inspire them to want to do more. And it's also a transferable skill. So when they get to a point where they want to go on and work, if they find that they really enjoy the art field, there are lots of jobs that they could parlay into, which are really, it's really great for them. Well, some of them can parlay it into an art career. Yeah. Because if, I, if I saw this in a, in a gift shop, I'm like, that is fantastic. I, I know that it's going mm. home with my wife for sure. Yes. <laughs> well, and something different too about our art show is mm. all the proceeds from any art sales go directly back to that member artist. Oh, oh they get the. Oh. Yes. Uh, that is so fantastic. So they directly so, benefit from this. Uh, I'm glad you brought that up and, and clarified that. And Rachel, I don't want to put you on the spot, but you have other things going on besides just the, the art classes with Kristen. Tell us a little bit more about what these members are doing other than that. We have a huge program um, that goes on in every branch. Each branch has a program supervisor, so they plan activities uh, for the day. Uh, a lot of times they go on different outings. They'll go to museums, um, live Last month was Black History Month, mm -hmm. so they came down to the Mosaic Temple oh. uh, and went through there. They go out to different restaurants. They bowl. So they do a lot There's of different never things. never a dull moment. Yes. Right. Yeah. They have a yes. lot of fun. Well, I, I thank you both for coming in and sharing this. And again, remind us on the art show, the date again. So now Thursday, I, April 18th. At the Hall. At the Hall in, right Little in Little Rock. Rock. And you can buy tickets on their website, littlerockhall.com, buy them at their box office, or you can get them the night of the event. Just show up and we'll let you in. Sounds wonderful. Kristen, you're either the best art teacher in the world <laughs> or there's just crazy talent. Oh, I don't, I don't know what you, 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 you take credit for it <laughs> right now. All right, uh, thank you for both again. Appreciate it. We've talked a lot about what's going on at Birch Street Community now, but after the break, we'll wrap up our visit with some exciting news about what's going on in the future. Stay with us.